Hello, today I'm going to show you guys the process of pit firing that we recently did at our farm. Uh, pit firing is basically a natural firing where we do not glaze our pots and we take our pots to a very low temperature of about six to 700 degrees Celsius uh, and we get these beautiful natural effects. So here we have some uh, wood, some coal, some sawdust, hay, uh, there are some chemicals like table salt and copper carbonate and cobalt carbonate that we'll be using. So we start with a pit. Uh, this work started about in the afternoon at about one o'clock and uh, this pit must be about a feet deep. I laid out the first bed with some coals, uh, then we put some sticks then we put some uh, sawdust uh, and then some hay for a nice big bed. Here's a little mixture of copper carbonate um, and some salt and I'm just sprinkling it over. Now for the pots, we've created the bed underneath. These pots were made about two weeks back where we've also done a firing to them. This firing was about 800 degrees Celsius so all the pots are nice and steady and they're strong enough to be able to take the shock, the thermal shock that the pots will feel during the fire, uh, firing and during the cooling. So I've put the pots in the bed nicely tucked in and we don't want them to be uh, exposed to air because that may cause a crack and a thermal shock. On top of the pots we've put some hay, we've put sticks, uh, and now I'm just going to cover it off with smaller sticks right on top. I've put some three uh, pieces of camphor and we're going to be lighting them. So once we light them, the bonfire is huge. Uh, you want to definitely make sure that there is no dry grass or anything that you know could, could catch fire around it. Um, and it you know takes about three to four hours for a you know a whole firing to happen but after those three to four hours the coals are uh, burning right underneath and the whole pit is pretty hot so we uh, covered it on top with a metal sheet oh here we have one of my students who made us some mad lines right in the middle of the firing that was such a treat uh, and we have our dogs chilling around the bonfire and so you can see this is about three to four hours the the fire is going down but it is super hot inside we have this uh, spare metal sheet and we're going to cover it off so this is after 1.5 days so basically um, we leave a whole day for cooling and you can see here the pit it's about 8 a.m we've taken the metal sheet off and uh, let's dig in the pots are smoldering hot it's almost like baked goods um, the places where the flame uh, has you know taken long to burn we have these nice gorgeous grays and blacks the hay the sawdust has created its, its own imprints on it Table salt has brought about the beautiful orange. Uh, the copper carbonate brings about the beautiful pinks. The cobalt carbonate brings about the nice grayish blues. Um, it's such an exciting process because it is completely left to chance. We can complete. We can totally have cracks and we can totally have you know uh, breakages. But this firing was 100% successful. We had no issues. Uh, the cooling was gorgeous, the firing was very nice and smooth. Uh, we didn't let any pot be exposed to air during the firing. And yeah, the collection of the pots is has is always exciting how many other times you do this. And uh, my students did this for the first time. It was a complete, uh, it was an experiment for all of us. I had totally warned them that, you know, all our pots may even break. So let's just have fun with it. But they all went back home with pretty amazing pots. Uh, here I just was showing them the difference between two pots where one is burnished, one is not. And you can see a shine in one, the other one's not shiny. And here's the final collection. We are really happy with it and I'll be doing this so many, uh, I'll be doing this often, yes. <laughs> okay guys, bye bye.